Janish and Sally start at the same point on a 400 meter circular track. They start running at the same time, but in opposite directions around the track. Why would they do that? Isn't, isn't it like pretty simple that you should like run in the same direction? That way it's like easier to see who's faster, who's slower. Well, I guess they'll do what they want. Trinish runs at a rate of eight meters per second, while Sally runs seven meters per second. After they start, they give each other a high five each time they meet on the track. How many high fives will they give each other in the first five minutes they run? I'm gonna draw a track, but, but I'm not. I'm not gonna draw a circular track because when I think of a track, I basically think of a rectangle with two semicircles attached to it. Why? Because every single day at school we have PE and we run on this track, so it's like, so it's like every almost every day my whole brain is like. Like there's a time where my whole brain is filled with this track. So although it seems like every single track I see looks like this, it's just that my brain just sees this track so many times. It's like automatic, automatic. So so whenever it hears track, it sees this shape. So whatever. Just say they start, they start right there. And Trinish runs one way and Sally runs, no eight, Sally runs the other way. Well, if Trinner runs at a rate of eight meters per second, it's gonna take 50 seconds to run the whole track, right? And when, she, when Trinner run, does run the whole track, Sally runs at seven meters per second. That's only a one meter speed in difference. Meaning when Trinner runs one lap, Sally is gonna be almost there. She's almost gonna have run a lap because she's only, um, uh, her speed is only one meter less than Trinner's, but she's not gonna be quite there yet. And we can use the same thing here, right? Because if Sally did run at the same speed as Trinish, then when Trinish had ran half the track, oh, she'd be right there, right? She'd be at half the track if Sally ran at eight meters per second. Newsflash to you, she doesn't run at eight meters per second. She runs at seven meters per second. Meaning Sally is gonna be almost at a halfway point when Trinish is at that halfway point, but she's not gonna be quite there yet. The halfway point, well that's 25 seconds. After 25 seconds, Trinish is gonna be at the halfway point, the 200 meter point, and that's Trinish. And well, Sally, well she runs at seven meters per second, and she has 25 seconds, or 25 one second periods, and we can just multiply this out, and we got 100, and 75, so that's somewhere about there. So after 25 seconds, Sally is gonna be at the 175 meter mark. 175 meter mark, okay, that's not a second. 175. Well, what about after 26 seconds? Well, after 26 seconds, we know each second Trinish is running eight meters closer to Sally, but Sally is also running seven meters closer to Trinish, meaning every second they're running 15 meters closer to each other in total. And after 26 seconds, Trinish is gonna be like somewhere about here and Sally is gonna be like, like somewhere about there. And well, there's a, there's a total of 25 meters between them. And after 26 seconds, well, they get 15 meters closer each second, meaning now there's only a 10 meter difference between Trinish and Sally. But after 27 seconds, they'll, they'll have already high five, right? In the middle of the second, because then they'll run 15 meters and, they'll, and we only need 10 meters for them to get closer so that they can high five. Well, hey, wait a minute. If 15, if, if every second they get 15 meters closer to each other, well, that means in a third of a second, they get five meters closer to each other, right? And 10 is just two times five, meaning it's two times a third of a second, which means it takes two thirds of a second to get 10 meters closer when Trinish is running at this speed and Sally is running at the other speed. So that means it's gonna take 26 seconds to get all the way up to this position, and then two thirds more 
of a second to finally meet and give a high five. Now, we could have also got 26 and two thirds a different way by seeing against saying that Trinish and Sally, they get 15 meters closer to each second. I mean, it's basically like each second they're cutting off a 15 meter chunk, right? Which means we can take this whole, the whole track and divide by 15, and then we get the number of, of these like chunks or seconds, these, these chunks they're like cutting off of these blocks of 15 they're cutting off. And because if we divide this, each block is basically just a second, how much they run in a second. After we divide this, we get how many seconds it takes for them to be all the way up there. And I guess you just have, you, you just have to trust me that this is 26 and 2 thirds. Okay, so let's first get this out of here for a second. Now let's do a deal with this problem. Well, they're running for a total of five minutes, right? And hey, we can basically do this the same way we found 26 and 2 thirds because again, it's like they're running five minutes, right? And if every 26 and 2 thirds of a second they meet, well, it's basically like if we can find out how many chunks of 26 and 2 thirds of a second there are in this total five minutes. And because each chunk is that much time, we'll get how many times they'll high five. So five minutes, well, that's five times 60, which is 300 seconds. And then we can just do this arithmetic. Get 300 divided by 26 and 2 thirds. And we can change 26 and 2 thirds to a fraction. 3 times 26 is 3 times 20 plus 3 times 6. That's 78. And then we add out the multiplier 2. And we get 80 over the 3. And, you know, division is just multiplication by the reciprocal. So that's 3. Uh, that's 300 times 3 over 80. And cancel the zeros. 8 and 30. We can divide by a factor of 2. And we get 45 divided by 4, which is 11 and a quarter, to be exact. I don't really care about this quarter of them. I'm not going to erase it yet, or else the equation won't be true. Because all, you're, all you really care about is how many high fives there are, right? Because this one fourth, if you think about it, that's like you need three quarters more. Um, you need a, another three quarters of the 26 and 2 thirds to get another high five. So now our answer is right there, 11.